everyone. I have a haul um, of her large items that I thought I'd bunch together and show you. Um, so these are all the sort of larger things that sort of are clothing related and stuff like that. But I thought I would just put in piles and show you because I like putting things in piles. <laughs> so uh, let's start with these little bits on the floor here. So I got her, well she's got this bath. Um, I ordered this from Amazon and um, I saw online someone said the best way to bath them is actually to get like a tub thing and then you can put it on the table and have like a bowl of water at the side and then just dip the sponge in and then you know wipe them down otherwise you're leaning over the bath and everything and we saw um, in I saw it online and we saw it in mother care it was um, oh god it begins with S I can't remember the brand but it was quite expensive. It was like a foldable box, plastic box, and then it's just got like this bit, which is sold separately. Um, you can buy it. It's like a seat. Um, and altogether it comes to like forty odd quid. And so I was like, okay, well, let's just buy the seat thing, which is like you can get them online for like six pound, and then buy a box. And I thought by the time I've bought that, and then the box might not be big enough I may as well just buy this this was about 13 99 or 12 99 I thought it was a great price and I'm just going to keep this in the bath all the time and then you know when I want to wash her, I'll take her downstairs or something and just sit her in this and use her little sponge we got her this little sponge an actual baby sponge from John Lewis and it was £3.50 bit much but again it was one of them things where I was buying I was buying that and I was like yeah chuck it in but then you know could have got it cheaper so that's her bath stuff and then I'll show you these in a Poundland haul. These are her little toys and I thought these would be good because they're small so go in the bath. And then I got this a while ago, uh, about a year ago, uh, for my frog stuff and I thought she could have it. A little frog book, bath book. Little did I know when I was buying it that it was going to be for my little one. Um, and other sort of green will go nicely in the kitchen. <laughs> um, and then down here, we saw these um, half price in Asda. Uh, so they were 75p, I think. Um, breast pads. And they're um, washable ones. Beautifully soft, absorbent and contoured to keep you protected and comfortable all day long. So I'll be using them. And you get six. That was great. So I stocked up on them. <laughs> uh, and then I showed you this in a pound and tool. This is just a 99.999 bacteria spray. And then, then Louis' mum got me all this stuff. She got me this. She got me all these wipes. And all this really posh um, cow shed baby organic stuff. So we have a cow shed... Baby Organics Rich Massage Oil. Oh, with meadow foam oil. Isn't that lovely? No nasties. Oh, so nice. Oh, my goodness. So that's for massaging. And then we have three of these. Baby Cow Organics Buttery Bottom Balm. How nice. Gosh, it's not focusing. And then we have a Frothy Hair and Body Wash. I've just realised I forgot to bring up the um, the e-cover uh, laundry detergent and baby and softener. It's zero, it's e-cover and it's um, zero percent. It's got no chemicals, no fragrance. Louise Mum also stocked up on that for us. So I've, I've had loads of batches of that and I've been washing all the stuff. Anything, as I think I've said before, but that anything that can be washed, I've washed. <laughs> I've literally washed everything. And I feel like I don't want to wash it because it's going to ruin all the clothes, all the new clothes. And I made the mistake of putting it on too high a wash as some things have faded. But at least it's nice and clean. But um, I, now I'm just putting everything on like a 20 max. Um, Louise's mum also got me this. So I'm going to take this into the uh, hospital. And it soothes, relieves, moisturises for dry, chapped lips and irritated skin. And it's brilliant. Poor, poor papaya moisturising balm and I think this is like the craze at the moment no parabens, no sulfates brilliant stuff I'll be taking that in with me and then she's got these little nail clippers not mum, suitable from birth how cute Aww. 
<laughs> easy to use, gentle, delicate nails, rounded edge for safety. So cute. And then my mum, I showed these in a Tesco haul. My mum grabbed me a load of these. 10 to 12 disposable maternity briefs. So I shall be taking those. Um, then that's my sanitary pads, which I've showed in a Poundland haul. I wanted these ones specifically because they've got the five uh, notches and they're really thick. Quilted for sumptuous softness. I got three packs of them, which is probably a bit much, but never mind. And um, then I picked up these. We have these, we use these um, at home. Uh, Chris said it a few times, but Dad likes to use those toilet wipes, so he don't put them down the toilet, he puts them in there. <laughs> bit graphic. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then I thought I'd get the 75 degradable nappy bags as well. I got, I um, used to get these ones, um, and then I started getting them because they're really cheap. But these are only 70 odd p. And then we got loads of these. I just got three packs for now. Um, you get 24 nappies, newborn, and it's the ones from Audi, and they've won the Mother and Baby Award and um, I've read lots of good reviews and heard lots of good things and they're only something like £1.29 a packet so that's brilliant I do want to try you, you're going to think I'm mad now but I would love to do the whole cloth nappy but I know that I'd be the only one that would be willing to do it so uh, because obviously these are, nappies aren't degradable and they cost a fortune and they're not very comfortable and stuff like that and so I would love to get the cloth nappies which you you know hose down um you have to buy a specific hose to clip onto the side of the toilet and they hose down the nastiness and then put them in the washing machine but I think how well will they wash and will it be that much more comfortable I, I don't know I don't I, I probably won't do it to be honest I'd love to be able to do that but I know no one else would cooperate. <laughs> um, and then the other thing we have, um, I saw on my hospital bag listing that I need to take some um, milk just in case like breastfeeding doesn't go to plan and all that lot. So we just, uh, my my midwife, I asked her, she said, oh yeah, most people just buy the pre-packed little carton thing. So I thought I'd get this one because it's that way I won't have to take the bottles and sterilise them beforehand. So it's one less thing to do, because um, obviously she could come at any minute now. Um, so we just got this one, and this looked like a good one. I don't know anything about milk, so if breastfeeding doesn't go well, then I'm going to have to do my research on the best milk and all that lot, but I really don't want to have to do bottle fed, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to breastfeed in all reality. I just don't think I eat enough to provide enough milk I, I don't know I re fingers crossed oh, I'm dreading it I'm absolutely dreading it I'm not gonna lie if the thought of it goes right through me it's disgusting <laughs> I know it's a natural thing but oh I just can't bear it but it needs to be done it has to be done um so I'm not gonna lie I'm absolutely dreading that uh so yes either way you know it wouldn't be the end of the world I suppose if if it doesn't go to plan, because, oh, oh, I don't know. I guess I'll get used to it. But, yeah, we just got this. It's ten ninety nine. It's a bit much. But um, you get the six ready-to-feed bottles, uh, orthodontic shaped teeth, sterilised, so ready to feed with no preparation required. And so, you know, I just thought this was like the pro one, and Louis being Louis is like, you have to get the pro one, whatever that means. I don't know, the, the regular one's seem fine to me but there's like a pro whatever as I say I don't know anything about uh for breast uh, milk formula stuff so I need to learn about that and then uh, another larger item I have are these bottles and the sterilizing machine which my auntie got me for well, well got her for Christmas um fantastic so we have that I also have some glass bottles come in but they haven't arrived yet um, so hopefully we'll be able to try gl the glass bottles as well. Um, so now I have a sterilising thing. I have no idea how to use it, so I'm going to have to figure that out. <laughs> um, uh, and some bottles. Fantastic. So that's so handy. Because I will, if I do breastfeed, then I'll have to like express, I suppose, as well for when we're going out and things like that and mum's already said you better be expressing because I'm having her all, all day on the weekend and I'm like no you're not 
<laughs> but we'll see how long I keep that up. Everyone's like, yeah, you wait until you, you wait, you'll be handing her over. <laughs> but I don't know. If I'm anything like I am with Garfi, nobody will get to look in. Um, and then as for the wipes, you have these gentle aloe vera wet wipes. Um, Louis' mum uh, gave me these uh, for the baby. So fantastic, earth friendly, 72. Um, free from artificial fragrance, colours, alcohol, natural and organic blend for baby skin because they use all natural stuff in their house as well. And then she's got three boxes of these and apparently two more on the way. Um, she got them on a cardo, they were on a great deal, fantastic deal. Um, so these are going to come in so handy. 99.9% water, 0.1% fruit extract. That fantastic water wipes because I also saw on um, Kerry Dyer's channel uh, she was talking about how they recommend to take cotton wool with water, but then you know these are be just the same thing, so they'll be a lot more handy um, and easy to use and stuff. Um, so I'll be putting some of them in the hospital bag as well. And then the other thing I have, I already bought a brand new mattress, but Garfi as I've said, pinch the Moses basket. And typical, he's decided he's not been going in it for the last couple of days, but I've ordered another basket now, so I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know. Um, I can't give her that one now, he's been in it too long. But I got a new mattress and this pillow, because I, I always think the mattresses seem so hard, and I don't know whether they're supposed to be hard, because of their backs and stuff, and like, you know, for their so they can grow nicely but I just think that seems so mean to have these really rock hard mattresses so we were in um, John Lewis and we saw one and it was so soft um, and it seemed really really good quality I think probably better than this one actually but um, so I looked it up and I looked at like the thickness and all that lot and I noticed that it was four centimeters thick rather than most of them being like three and stuff like that so it's a bit thicker so I then saw another. I saw one with exactly the same measurements and everything. This is microfiber, hypoallergenic, and it's reversible, so you can have it. Oh, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it seems. It's, I love the description and everything. Um, but it is really soft, really, really like squidgy, and I'm now wondering whether that is going to be right. I mean. This would be good for the pram and the basket, but actually, I actually don't know if it'll fit in the pram, but I'm now wondering. I don't know. Maybe I could put this underneath the other one. I don't know. I'll have to read up. Um, I'd rather she slept on this, but there must be a reason why they're all hard. Uh, so we'll have to see. I didn't expect it to be this squishy. But then I also was reading... Because I always think, like, surely that's, like, mean to just have them completely flat on their back. Surely don't they need a pillow. And then I was looking at the baby move, which I've actually got coming. It's on its way. It's the thing where they sit in it so they can't roll and stuff. Um, and, you know, because they love to be all as snug as possible. Remind them of being in the womb and that. So I was looking at that and then... Uh, when it says like other customers also bought this there was like this pillow and I was like yeah I've always said like do ba are babies supposed to have pillows um, and everyone's like no no but then um, I was reading and it was like you know recommend by uh, paediatricians or whatever you call them um, and stuff like that and then I saw these wedge pillows and um, some of them they come in a pack of two, but I thought I'd get the one that's rounded because it'll go better in the in the in the Moses basket. And then when we're using the pram, um, I can just take it out because you know it would have been good to have got two for the same price. But I thought, oh well, we'll know when we're using the pram. So we will just take it out and whatnot. But yeah, so I got this, and it's you know help stops flathead. And all that lot and supports their back so they're slightly raised it's sort of like that on the slant but I don't, I don't know I, again I still I need to google should babies have pillows and should matches be hard um, so I need to figure that out first really but um, and then I also got this changing mat I thought I'll go, I'll go with one that's sort of um, 
neutral and pink like pink pinky sort of colours, pale pinks. I did see a nice, very, very pale, dusty pink one with clouds on it. But um, I went with this one because it's an animal and it's elephants my favourite and so this will kind of go in my room. <laughs> uh, and then I showed you this little basket, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Just for the time being I have her towels. Uh, Louis' mum got her these crusty ones and then this is the blanket I got from Primark. It's one of her blankets. Um, and then this was Louis' blanket when he was a baby and they're her uh, calf kits and towels that mum got. Um, this is his little ducky blanket, I'll show you. I've washed it and everything. So soft, I need to dig out all my bank blankets. Louis's mum, she, she sent this over to us. She dug it out. This is what he used to be wrapped in. So cute, little duckies. Really soft. And then the other larger item we have is this um, vibrating... Uh, what are they called? Bouncy chairs. Mum and Dad got this for £5 in the charity shop. Isn't that incredible? Um, and this will go nicely in the kitchen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it just you just clip it at the side and it bounces and everything. And then I've got the baby move thing coming, so I can put that in there. And it's got, like, all cushioned and that, so they don't roll. But um, I will show you the car seat and the pram in another video, I think. Uh the other large item we got was this portable playpen. Again, it was from the charity shop. Um, but we're not sure, Mum and Dad aren't sure whether to uh oh my scarf's falling down to go to use it. It's um travel cot and playpen. They got it from the charity shop, but I think they thought it was a like a playpen, but it's more of a travel cot, so I'm not sure what we'll use it for and it is quite big but I mean it folds up nicely um but I was thinking maybe to put it in the garden when she's out in the garden and stuff when she gets a bit older but yeah that's about it for the large items let's go back into the other room Coffee's there in his bedroom in his bed looking in the garden oh the other thing I have is this boppy Louise man brought me this they Louis brought this over. She um said, Go and get some more of them, um some some more no, go and get that uh onesie and, and get Cam one of these. So he brought this back home for me. <laughs> and it's it's been a godsend, it's been amazing. And I can also use it for breastfeeding and stuff like that. So it's in the wash at the minute. Well, just to cover us. Um and yeah, set mul multiple uses. So I've got that, and that was from TK Maxx, they got that. So, oh, that was generous, obviously. But, yeah, um, hope you enjoyed, um, and I shall speak to you in the next video. Hope you're all taking care of yourselves and having a great week. Bye, everyone.